hello my gorgeous friends on the internet okay so the last the previous video the previous section we uh, created our login sorry our home page uh, with the different custom widgets and also the widgets that shows whenever the list is empty okay but for now we have not started the logic I'm just building out the UI okay then we can start modifying and adding the logic so this is the custom test feed so now we are going to be creating a create page create page tags which is the create page task page where we can add a new task and also i'll be creating another page which is where the details page where we can delete a tax or update a tax depending on because you guys are going to be implementing the update part of this uh this tutorial okay so i'm not going to be touching that part i'm not going to be talking about that part that's what you guys are going to do okay then the tax page uh i think we are going to be creating something called add tax page like this so inside here now is going to be uh, a stateful widget yeah with create tax page as the page so i will have import material app like so and now we can have something like a stateful widget and i will call this one create tax page okay then right here remember this create tax page we're actually creating it's actually going to get uh it's actually going to have a controller which is because from what i said initially if you look at this stuff now it has when creating a new tax if you look at this api endpoint now it has start time end time user id and reminder period so the only feed i'm going to be creating is just the title so we'll be using this start time the way it is but in your own case you can create a ui for that to add like a date picker to pick date and then pass it there then we are also going to pass the user id remember i've already stored the user id in the previous video so in case you didn't see that part i i i, I suggest you go watch that part still in this playlist okay so we are only going to create a test feed for taking the title and then saving it all right so we won't be doing for start time end time reminder period and stuff like that okay so now what i'm going to do is only tie to controller we're going to have so we should have the controller and also dispose of the controller when we are done okay so i'll have something like this a title and a title controller to to, to clear it once we are done is it clear or dispose okay okay dispose clear anyone you want to use though <laughs> i think the previous ones i used clear uh but it doesn't matter so let's move on then next we can have an app bar so the app bar is going to have the title of create tags like so then if you save it now we won't see anything because we need to navigate to this create tax page so i will go back to our home page so those pages i commented those are lines i commented i'm going to uh uncomment them okay then import it as well all right then we're going to be doing the same thing for this page in case the user if it's null okay we we'll do it like this and save it all right so now if we click on this page and it will take us to the create tax page and you can see that if we go back it will take us to the next page and create tax page okay so you can see in this create tax page i'm using next page because we don't want to remove the back uh the other previous pages but assuming i use next page only it's going to remove the other page so inside this add tax page now i'm going to be using I'm, i'll be using a body with a custom screw view because i want it to be scrollable and responsive so i'll be using custom screw view here then inside here we'll have a child and i will give this a child of column container sorry and uh, i'll have a padding and const and urgent sets dot all and i'll be giving this 15 as well all right so the next thing now is going to be the child of the column okay uh like so all right so think something is wrong custom screw view is supposed to be a sliver not you're not supposed to use that there that's i'm having that error so i should have a sliver slivers with a sliver to box adapter and now we can have the child and then return our container there right awesome okay so now not we have still not added anything yet because if i save it nothing will change still the same ui nothing new then now what i'm going to do now is to create a feed 
a custom feed and this feed now is going to be for the title to take the title remember the custom feed has already been created the same custom feed we use for the login and the register pages so it's still the same thing but we just have to add the title the controller and the hint so you can see the title we can add a new title there all right then the next thing now we're going to do is to create the button the button still remains the same as the one we created for the login and also the sign up as well so we are going to have a custom custom button so it's just similar pages and nothing different so the status i'm just going to set it to false here and then we have an tab property okay that we use to create the tags and make requests to the endpoint okay and then we have uh is uh, we have a contest okay and the contest is going to be yeah so if you hover now if you go over this custom remember i didn't add any value or any hint here if you hover on this custom button if the hint is, is empty it shows save so we don't really if the test is empty we should save so there's no need adding th that save there all right so just save it now you're going to see it's going to have the button save and that is all we need for this create tax page all right so next on we'll be moving over to adding update tax page so i know why i'm actually separating it because i can have everything inside here with some if statement but <laughs> let's just leave it that way so we have update tax page um tax details page sorry and this tag details page you can also still use it for updating a tax yeah so it doesn't matter and then now i'm going to copy this okay tag details page i'll paste it here and uh, so what i'm going to do here and i'm just going to change the name from create tax page to tax details page so i will just use ctrl f and then change the name okay to create tax page like so all right so remember uh, we actually had if you go to the our tax view container we actually have a button so once you click on the view container so once you click on this any of each of these items it will take you to the details page but now it's not doing anything because we have already commented this stuff so what i would do now i would just okay uh tax details page i would do it like this and you can see previously the one i did we actually needed to pass we actually needed to pass the tax id the and the title okay on the other page so i need to create a constructor the reason why the tax id is there because if we want to update the to do we need to pass the tax id and also if we want to delete the to do we also need to pass the tax id okay and the title just to display the title on the next page so it's required we pass the tax id okay using constructor so this is actually how you pass data from one page to another so you might be asking where did we get this tax id from very simple remember this constructor this custom widget we did we had the tax id here and inside this home page we actually pass the tax id and blah 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 all this stuff okay so right here now i'm going to be creating let's go back to the details page so inside here and i'm going to be creating a constructor okay so let me just create constructor here so the constructor is just going to be i'll remove this okay so now we have title and tax id from the constructor awesome so what we are going to do next now is to populate the feed whenever we come to this particular page but before we do that i'm going to create uh, we have we have this tab which is our tax details this is an app bar sorry okay we have tax details okay so let's save it and if i click on each of these items it is going to take us to the tax details page and you can see tax details we have the title what do you want to do and then the save but now it's not really cool because what we need to do this title once we click on this page we need to pass the title and then populate this feed okay automatically so what i'm going to do i'll call that inside in each state and i think now i'll be using set state for that okay because it's actually so i'll be using set state for that one okay so what i will do now I'll just say uh the title i will set the initial uh test of the title to be the widget dot the title that is coming from the constructor in this case it's going to be hello world okay let's go back and then click on it again you're going to see it's going to be hello world yeah that's the title all right so we are done with that part and uh yep then now what i'm going to do next is to create 
and what I'm going to do next is to create a button so this button is going to be an icon button for actually it's an action button actually for uh, deleting the tax if you want to so what I'll be doing inside here this app bar where's the app bar where's the app bar okay inside this app bar I will create an action so here I will have an icon button okay like so and uh, yep I hope I'm correct okay yep I will have something like this and then the icon button will have an icon icons dot uh, delete okay like so alright so I think we are good with that okay so the color by default is going to be white okay because the background there is called is purple so just change it to white but we are going to modify that later but not now okay we need to import our color save it and you should see something cool all right so we have our button right there but in this case since we are not going to handle update uh, which is something you guys would want to do uh, you can change the test here to update but since I'm not going to be handling update I'll just leave it there for you guys but I will comment it okay yep all right so we are good and now we have all the widgets created so if you go back you click to create a new tax it takes you to a page where you add a new tax if you click on each of these items it takes you to this page and if you click here it takes you to this you you just check it out okay so now this is what I want to show you we have, have successfully created each of our UI for adding a tax and also viewing the tax details and also deleting the tax so in the next section we are going to write the providers for actually deleting a tax creating a tax and yeah once we create a tax we are going to write the method also for fetching and retrieving the tax okay that will be the last part of this tutorial so uh, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video